welcome class now i will begin starting the video series in the practical 2 i will be conducting practical 2a awp bsc id what is expected in practical 2a that is creating the simple application to perform the following operations finding the factorial value money conversion i had considered the currency as dollar so rupee to dollar and dollar to rupee quadratic equations and temperature conversion so i'm using celsius to fahrenheit so this is what been expected in practical number 2a to be completed what i will be doing i will be creating a class in that class i will be creating the functions one function for finding factorial value second function for using money conversion third function for using quadratic equation fourth one for the temperature conversion and then inside a mean i will be creating the object of the class and calling the method as per the user choice so either you can write a separate separate program for each of the option or you can create a single application in that there will be a class a set of functions and required uh, main ke hisab se functions ko call karna so i need to create a console based application so here at start i'm starting my visual studio first and we'll be trying to go for developing the console based application so i'm creating a new project the type of the project i'm using as console app give and click on next using the name of the console as a practical to a give and click on next or create this will be creating my new application which is a console based application in that four function need to be designed by us so let us concentrate so this is the namespace practical to way in that i will be creating my own class as a class utility so why the name is utility is be given you can decide your own requirement ke hisab se aap naam do maybe uh, i just say give a class name as my functions that's okay you can give any of the name but add it is considering all the functions and these all functions are utility functions so i'd given the name to this function or this class as my utility and here i am creating the various functions as per requirement first function was been expected as factorial value so i am planning to create one function where the access specifier is public return type is n the name of the function i'd given as fact and the parameter i'd given as x so i will be passing the integer value and this function will be returning me the factorial of the given integer value so how to calculate factorial i think so everybody knows if i am going to specify the factorial of pi what is the factorial of pi it is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 or you can go reverse way 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and i don't think so i think so everybody knows multiplied by 1 karne ka requirement kuch hota nahi hai because any number multiplied by 1 will be always the given number so up to 1 karna hai ki up to 2 karna hai that is up to you only so here it comes i am interested in writing the small program so i declared one variable f with the value as 1 so initial value of f i had given as 1 further i would like to run a for loop or a while loop depending on the requirement suppose i am using a for loop by saying for the initial value of i will be 2 so y2 because you know that uh, multiplied by 1 will be always 1 so initial value of i is considered as 2 the value of i is less than equal to x and the value of i will be increased by 1 here it comes i would like to just specify f equal to f into i so it will be 2 into 3 the answer will be again into 4 the answer will be again into 5 and so on so after this for i just use the return statement the return f so factorial function is developed by me so in this video at least i will be developing two functions so here the second requirement is there that is money conversion so you will be passing the rupee you will be getting the dollar or you will be passing dollar you will be getting the rupee any one you can choose if you are creating two function for dollar to rupee and rupee to dollar most welcome suppose i am trying to develop one function over here for dollar to rupee and rupee to dollar so i just provide public maybe i am using return type as float you decide so float and i just say dollar to rupee so d2r 
and uh, I will be passing dollar, I will be getting rupees. So I am passing dollar over here. I think everybody knows dollar to rupees multiplied by current rate will be, I don't know the current rate. So let us try to find out what is the current rate. So here it comes. I just say dollar to INR and I can get 79.66. That's the reason I have taken a uh, data type as float over here. So 79.66 into the rupee equal to what? One dollar is the current rate. So I'm using the same thing over here by saying return. I'm getting dollar. I require to pass the rupee. So I just say dollar into 79.66F. Fine. So when I'm calling this function called a D2R, it will be returning me. I'm passing dollar. It will be returning the rupee value. And again, I am creating one more function by providing public float rupee to dollar. And here I am providing the rupee. And what I should get? Dollar. So I think so you know that uh, it need to be divided. Right? So number of rupees divided by 79.66 will be what? Nothing but a dollar amount. So multiplications and uh, division is always complement operator. So here I am going to use return rupee divided by 79.66 F. So this will be a rupee to dollar conversion. So we had completed these two function. One is for finding factorial value. Second is for doing the money conversion. So now we be completing the fourth one also temperature conversion. Similar pattern. That is if you are going the Celsius, then you will be getting the Fahrenheit. If you are going to give the Fahrenheit, you will be getting what the Celsius. I will be using only one option that is Fahrenheit to Celsius to Fahrenheit. So temperature conversion, I will be just going to specify over here public load temperature conversion Celsius to Fahrenheit. And I am going to pass over here Celsius. And what I should get? I should get a Fahrenheit value. So what is the formula for that? I had already told you over here the formula is what? The Fahrenheit equal to the Celsius into 9 divided by 5 plus 32. Right? So here I am going to try to use the same thing by saying return. What are the value? It is Celsius into 9. Sorry. Divided by 5 plus 32. But please remember that uh, this has to be done first. Then division and then the addition. So fine, I had completed all these kind of tasks and inside the mean, I need to call the function. Now, uh, I need to ask the choice to the user. I had just kept this uh, quadratic equation in my next video because it is a little bit a bigger program. In a single video, everything cannot be covered. So let us try to work out with the concept of uh, calling these functions. So for calling these functions, I need to create an object of this class. As these functions are non-static, object creation is must. So I am going to create my utility m1 equal to new my utility. Object has been created. Now I need to ask the choice from the user. So I just provide the message by saying console dot write line. Enter choice. Sorry. And the choice value need to be accepted inside the variable c. So I mentioned int c equal to uh, in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So value is accepted from the user stored inside a variable C. And now let us try to work out with a switch case or a if else condition. If the C value is going to be 1, it means you are expecting the option of uh, factorial. So if you are confused, then please try to give a good message to the user. So I will be trying to go for giving good message to the user by saying console dot uh, right line maybe one for factorial backslash and two for uh, what it was dollar two rupee INR three for INR two dollar and fourth one is for dot 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 dot
and port 1 I am using it for the sake of Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I am using Celsius to Fahrenheit. Fine. So fine, everything has been done, a good message has been given to the user, then the choice has been accepted from the user. But choice need to be accepted on the same line, it will look good. So I am using console.write over here. And now I am using the simple if else condition by saying if c value if it is equal to equal to 1, it means what uh, user is expecting to work with the factory. So I require to take some value in a variable. So I just say utilize as uh, console dot write enter number and I provide in number equal to in dot parse console dot read line so value is accepted from the user and then just calling the function by saying uh, maybe in ns equal to our object name is m1 dot factorial passing the value of number and whatever the answer is there that need to be displayed so i'm using console dot write line factorial plus ans so quite easily we had complete a factorial program and now we are going to give a next part by saying if the value of c is equal to equal to 2 and if the choice is 2 then what next has to be done so i need to use a else if over here so else if if the choice is 2 then you need to go for doing dollar to inr so i accept the dollar amount so i am using console dot write Maybe enter a dollar amount. And let us accept it instead of variable D. But I am using float over here by float D equal to float.parse. Sorry. In the bracket console.readline. And then moving ahead saying float answer equal to m1 dot what we are using dollar to rupees right so dollar to rupees and then passing d and the output will be displayed to the user by using console dot write line maybe inr plus ans i just make a small change over here to view it better way as i Fine. Now it will be a next choice by saying else if the value of c equal to equal to 3. So it means I need to go with the, I just make it an enter. I need to go for accepting INR and then convert it into what you uh, dollar. So I just give a good message dollar amount. Actually, yehi karna hai. Kuch jada alag nahi karna hai. Toh I just try to go for copying this code and pasting this code over here but instead of dollar amount I am giving the message as INR amount and instead of D I just prefer to give the option as INR and here I am using the another function over here saying dot rupee to dollar and here providing the INR value right and the answer will be displayed but this is the dollar amount so I am using a symbol of dollar now I need to go for choices 4 for Fahrenheit to Celsius. So again I am providing else if choice equal to equal to 4. Then do what? Accept the Celsius. So I am using console.write line or console.write. Enter Celsius. The value will be accepted in float by saying float c equal to Load dot parse, sorry, in the bracket console dot read line and then for the same one float ans equal to m1 dot Celsius to Fahrenheit. In the bracket, I am going to provide the value of Celsius and in displaying the output by using console dot write line. Celsius to or a Fahrenheit value. In 
then providing over here answer. And if any other choice is there, the quadratic equation will do it in next video. So maybe I'm going to message by saying console dot write line. Wrong line. Or invalid value. Anything. Then to wait for a keystroke, I'm just using console dot read key. And I run my program. Just it will be showing me the output like okay, there was a build error. So let us try to find out what is the build error. He says that the C okay, already C variable is there. No? So I just give a name of this variable as CE. Now I run the program. It asks me what is my choice. I just my choice is factorial. It asks me the number, I'd given the number as 5. The factor is displayed as what? 120. Further, it asked me what is the conversion of dollar to INS. So, I had given a choice as 2 over here. It asked me dollar amount. I just say if I am getting $3,000, how much is the rupees conversion? It's 23, 2,38,980. Good one. So, I again run the program. It uh, will be going for choice as 3. It means give me what is the INR value. I just my INR value is 90,000. So, in dollar, it will be converted as 1129.802. And Celsius to Fahrenheit, I am going to give a Celsius at 32 Celsius. It gives me the, okay, sorry, the choice 32 is my wrong value. So, I am going for a Celsius to Fahrenheit. Giving 32 Celsius, it gives a Fahrenheit value as 89.6. So, this is all about the video. Uh, quantity equation, I will be creating a separate video. So, I will be creating a separate video for this. And uh, um, class, again, I'm sparing some kind of good time to create a video. So be uh, tuned with us. Thanks a lot.